let's take a look at what's going on with refund coin oh my goodness over 16 million dollars in liquidity back up into the 80 plus million dollar market cap range it is looking like we have broke that consolidation phase that we've had over the last two days could this be the breakout that we've been waiting for could this be the beginning of the breakout that we've been waiting for almost 10,000 holders let's get into this Now, before we begin, guys, please do me a favor and smash that like button. If you're new to the channel and if you want to see more refund content, welcome, guys. Do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell for me, please, and thank you. So it almost feels like this coin's been around for quite a while because of how much has happened just in the last five days. But in reality, the coin's not even seven days old yet. It hasn't even been a full week yet. And as you can see, looking at the chart zoomed out, we haven't even had a big run yet. A big pump right we've had the little pumps the slow stairways to heaven like i like to call it but we haven't had that big pump yet but looking at how much has been garnished just within these last couple of days i'm excited to see how high this pump is gonna go obviously guys not financial advice do your own research i'm just sharing the play that i got into and as a matter of fact yesterday when we were in the dip between that 50 to 60 million range at around 60 million I went ahead and I doubled down on my position. It was very pleasant to wake up to see that now I'm up in profits and I'm excited to see what's gonna happen. I've been looking at some comparisons, as you know, to see like Pepe, right? Seeing what happened with Pepe on their run. So I'm gonna pull that up. So look at this guys, work with me here. This is the Pepe chart and this is the refund chart right now, right? What do you see as a similarity? Here's what I see, right? Obviously, this is all speculation. So what I think we are doing right now in terms of refund, I think that we may be over here, right over here. Obviously, not exact spinning image, of course, but that little hump, you know, that little hump that we're going into before the big run. As you can see, the big run is right here. And perhaps this could be the reversal because we did break above this small little resistance point that we had over here where we were trying to fight our way back up after first touching that 100 plus million dollar all-time high so at first i was thinking like okay we could break above the 80s and somehow hold it i think we're in the clear we're in the clear and as you can see it looks like we're in the clear sitting at a strong now 85 million market cap the buyers are coming in like wildfire and you know what this project is no baby buys we're talking 50 eat 60 eat buys even just now on a casual 12 ETH, 15 ETH, like it's nothing. Liquidity is growing strong. Uh, personally, I haven't seen a project with this much liquidity on a Dex source chart out of my two and a half years of being in DeFi. This is definitely something to point out. Where do I think this can go? Well, here's how I look at it. Pepe was able to go to a 1.6 to a 1.8 billion dollar market cap with nothing more than just being a meme. That was it, just a meme and out of people's sheer boredom because as we know, the Pepe pump wasn't new money coming into the market. It was just recycled money because the market cap is still in the early one trillions. Now, when I see refund coin, what I like about this project in particular more than Pepe, which is why I got into this coin, is that these guys actually have a narrative, a very strong community. As a matter of fact, so strong of a community that when I first invested into this project, I was impressed to see that in two to three days, they've amassed like 8,000 followers on Twitter. I was like, damn, this is nice. Well, right now they're over 53,000 followers and it's still the first week. The holder count is climbing. When I got in, we had just hit 7,000 holders. As you can see here, it's showing 9,130 holders approximately. There's a lot of things brewing. And I personally think that if Pepe was able to hit plus a 1 billion market cap, I think that would refund, we can see past that. I wouldn't be surprised to see the big run. I'm talking this type of run that we have for refund at least go to two to three billion territory. I can even think a little higher, more, if I go on the more idealistic route, I would like to even see this project scrape to 5 billion, maybe even as high as 10 billion market cap. You know, the way things are looking in this day and age, it's hard to say what's impossible and what's possible because we've seen the impossible happen countless and countless times. As a matter of fact, that's probably why you're watching this right now because meme coins are where the impossible becomes possible. And there's been a lot of meme coins over the last couple of weeks, and I didn't invest in none of them. 
I didn't see a point, so I thought they were all a waste and just knock off one another. But this one in particular is different. Every day, two big Twitter spaces that are hosted with Stex, which I would assume is the community leader. Shout out to him. Your pop, always there. Big shout out to him. And on top of that, now you got Jake and Rodney as well, the duo. All of these guys coming together to push one big project. Lately in the meme coin sector in DeFi, it's been a lot of division and understandably because we're all fed up with the long drought that we've had from all of 2022 even carrying into this year. So to see things flipping again, it's giving me those 2021 vibes again. And when I last saw this, I put my money in and boy, was that a come up. I'm not saying that's exactly what's going to happen with this one. It's all speculation. If you ask me what I'm betting my money on, I'm betting my money that this thing is going to send and send harder than what we saw happen with Pepe. That's my opinion. I could always be wrong. I'm not a professional. I'm just talking about experience that I've seen with other charts in the past and comparing it to what I'm seeing in front of me right now. And above all else, we have an alleged billionaire backing the project. Not only is he backing the project, but now it looks like on a day to day basis, he's giving us clues encryptions messages in the blockchain that we have to decode i'm talking like ancient type of writing that has to be decoded and even when it's in english we still have to put our heads together and think what is he trying to say and why is he trying to communicate with us what is he trying to do with refund coin because when you're somebody that has that type of money you don't just launch a coin because you want to make a quick buck rug pull and dip right what would be the point of that yeah, there's monetary gains, but let's be honest. When you got somebody that's worth nine figures back in the project, what's another $16 million going to do? I mean, it's almost going to be like me getting 16 bucks in my account, right? So there has to be something deeper that hasn't yet been unraveled. The way I'm treating it, all speculation, guys, is that this could be a riddle. And the last time I saw riddles like this slowly unraveling one thing into the next thing into the next thing was Sheba. And I haven't seen anything quite hit the nail on the head in terms of the encrypted communication like we're seeing with refund and not to mention guys the twitter spaces are averaging 600 to 900 people in those spaces and they're not like little one-offs but they're two three four hour long spaces one at 5 p.m eastern and then another one at midnight eastern and both of those spaces get filled up out the wazoo and it's just incredible to see because this is still the first week of launch what's gonna happen by week two Pepe took 19 days to hit a billion market cap. What is refund going to do within 19 days? Can you imagine what it's going to look like if we also see the market start to wake up? Because remember, BTC is in the 26K looking like crap. ETH barely managing to keep itself in the 1800 range. What's going to happen when we start seeing the markets waking up? That fear, right, of the US and the debt ceiling. What's going to happen when that fear starts to evaporate? Food for thought. With that being said, folks, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I'm going to be keeping you guys up to date with how this goes, especially monitoring my own investment in this project. I'm Jazz Royce. And like I always say, guys, I'm going to catch each and every one of you guys at the top.